Hi, I'm Chrissy from Stitch Collective, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about my favorite sewing books. So my favorite books are divided into a couple of different categories. The first and the biggest section is fitting, because I think it's one of the hardest uh, things to master in sewing. The next is going to be just general sewing references and sewing techniques. The first book is called the Complete Photo Guide to Perfect Fitting. And I really like this book because again, it's a photo guide, so it's primarily photographs, and all of them are really clear and comprehensive. It goes through multiple fitting techniques on all areas of the body, uh, and it's just written in a really clear and concise way. So I love this one. It's my primary reference for any fitting issues. But I do a lot of fitting, and so I do have actually lots of fitting references. The next one is called Fit for Real People. I kind of feel like this is the uh, main reference that most new sewists use, and it is awesome. They actually have a newer version that came out, I think last year, so if you're looking to buy this book, I would look for that one. Um, but this one was published, I think in the early 90s, so the pictures are pretty dated, but the techniques are really simple and awesome uh, and easy to execute for the most part. So I love this book, I reference it all the time, as you can tell by my post-it notes. The next book is from the same authors, and that is Patty Palmer and Mar uh, Marta Alto, and that's Pants for Real People. So the same concept as Fit for Real People, but focused on pants, which tend to be harder to fit. Um, I also really specifically like this version of this book because it's spiral bound and it lays flat, so it's really easy to use. The next book is a Singer Reference Library book, and I like this because number one, the Singer books are really comprehensive, again, photo heavy, kind of like that um, complete photo guide to perfect fitting. And they're also usually really inexpensive. Like I've purchased all of mine from the thrift store for $2 at the most. Um, and the Singer guides also, well, I'm gonna be covering a couple more of them later in the video, um, but they make like 25 or 30 different um, titles that go over all sorts of different sewing um, categories or sewing concepts, which is great. So the last fitting book is called Fitting and Pattern Alteration, A Multi-Method Approach. And this one I think is literally a textbook, uh, so it's a bit of a heavier read. Um, but if you have kind of trickier fitting challenges that the other more basic books aren't covering, this one probably covers it. And it covers it in four different uh, fitting methods, which is also really cool. So if one method doesn't work for you, you have three others you can try, which is great. So the next books are also Singer books. I can actually do these both at the same time. Uh, so one is Sewing Essentials and one is Sewing Active Wear. Um, and I actually kind of just randomly picked these two off of my shelf because like I was saying before, Singer makes like 25 or 30 different sewing books. Um, and they range from anything from lingerie sewing, so like to the active wear, using uh, specialty fabrics. Uh, they're just really great. And again, at the thrift store, they're usually only two or three dollars at the most. So a fantastic deal. So if I had to pick my ultimate favorite sewing book, it would be this book. It's called Fine Machine Sewing, and it's targeted towards like heirloom sewists or um, replicating the look of hand sewing, hand embellishing. But what I really, really like about it is that the author just communicates sewing ideas and techniques in such a clear way. Uh, like this is actually the book when I was first sewing 20 years ago that efficiently described how sewing machine tension works and it kind of blew my mind. So I just love this. She has so many good tips and tricks on how to get better straight stitching, again, how do your machine tension works, um, just various techniques to make the most of your sewing machine. So I absolutely love this book. So the last book in this review is called Sewing Secrets in the Fashion Industry. And this one is super dated, admittedly, just in terms of the photographs, but it has really cool techniques in it and just things that other books aren't covering in terms of ones that target the home sewing or the consumer sewing market. So that part's really cool. So you can see industry techniques in this book that wouldn't necessarily be covered in others. So for that, it makes it really valuable to me and I love it. So there you have it, my favorite sewing books. Clearly I have a lot of favorites, uh, but I reference these all the time and hopefully you found one or two that you think will be helpful. Thanks you guys.